Today I'm sharing how much I made on YouTube and my online business that I've had for eight years now. Eight years ago I started a YouTube channel and over the years it has grown and I've added on new revenue streams and now I am full time in working in my business. So I'm gonna share with you how much I made, I'm gonna show you how much I spent, the expenses that I had, behind the scenes, analytics, all of the fun things. And I will preface this by saying this was a lower income month than I would like. It was about half as much as I wanted to make, which sucks. But I did a video last month where I explained a pivot and a change that I'm doing on in my business right now. And that is taking a little bit of a step back from my main channel, which has 53,000 subscribers, and focusing more on my online business channel, a tutorial channel helping people create online businesses like start a YouTube channel, virtual assistant, different things like that. And with that, I'm taking a major dip in income because I'm not getting as much AdSense and all of those things, but that channel is basically shadow banned. It's getting the invalid bug traffic. I go through it all in this video that I'll have in the iCard for you, but I'm seeing a definite dip in income right now, but I expect it to just catapult up in Q3 and Q4 of this year. So I know going into this that I am going to see a dip in revenue in the first quarter, quarter and a half of the year, and then it's going to grow from there. So I'm not getting discouraged. It is half of what I would like to be making, but it is what it is. I do also want to say that I have a new membership that I am relaunching. I'm totally updating my membership and I'm so excited. So it is called the Next Level Membership. And this is a membership that is really going to help you if you are wanting to level up your online business. So if you've been at it for a little bit and you've been, you know, having a YouTube channel or have a VA business or you've been blogging for a little bit, but you're not making as much as you want, or you're like, you know what, I'm going all in and I'm going to learn everything I can and level up, then this is for you. So this is going to consist of two monthly mastermind calls and masterminds are like, I think one of the best tools that you would have as an entrepreneur, it helps you connect with other creators. It helps you with mindset when you're struggling, when you're excited about things, when you need to talk things out, when you're wanting to talk strategy, masterminds are amazing with for that. So it's going to have two mastermind calls. It's going to have a monthly co-working session as well for accountability. And it's also going to have a lunch and learn on a specific topic every single month. So four live events every single month. It also has a library of videos that are going to help you to level up as well. So it's going to be so exciting and I'll have it linked for you down below in the description, but that is something that I am launching, which I'm so excited for. So def definitely check it out if you're wanting to level up your business. Okay, let's jump in. I do have a full blog post on my income for the month as well. And I also have this Excel template. If you want, you can, I use it in Google Sheets, but you can use it in Excel or Google Sheets, but this, I will have a link for you down below in the description as well. Okay. So here we are, and this is my March 2024 income. So starting off, affiliate marketing was $1,391.28. Now this right here is definitely down from what I was seeing, especially mid last year. Last year I was making like five to seven thousand dollars a month in affiliate marketing, but like I said at the beginning, this is definitely dipping because I'm not leaning into a lot of stuff on my main channel with affiliates. I'm now switching over to more of the online business space. And so with that, the affiliates are going to take time to ramp up. So I'm seeing a dip right now, but that is totally okay. So $1,391.28 for affiliates. Most of this is apps and services that I use, things like TubeBuddy, which is what I use for SEO. Um, like I said, apps, banks, different things like that, resources that I use to run my business. Next up is digital products. I made $198.60. Now I have Excel templates and printables and different things like that on my website, as you can see here. And then I also have the same exact items on Etsy as well. I like having them in both places because Etsy has its own SEO, it has its own search engine, all of that. So I do that. But if I mention a printable or Excel template or anything like that in a video, I always link it from my website. So that is the digital products. So digital products was $198.60. Next is YouTube ad revenue. So this is from my main channel and I was making $1,500 a month on my main channel, which has 53,000 subscribers. So we are definitely down, which sucks. But 
it is what it is. And this is a result of the invalid bug traffic, which I have a whole video on. And let's look here. So this is going to be for February because YouTube is a month behind. So $211.53. I had 25,000 views, 1.5 hours of watch time, and 47 subscribers for the month. And this is way down in like when I wasn't having this bug, I was getting 100,000 monthly views. So we are definitely way down, but it is what it is. Let's look at revenue because I always love seeing revenue. So we can see on average on a low day, it's $4, high day, it's $7. Highest, I think it's $12, but $13 was the highest, $13.14, which which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, let's look at some more analytics here. So we have the estimated revenue is, um, this one is $26 for 26,000 um, views, and then we can see the RPM. So that's what YouTube pays me, is the RPM is $9.82. Now we do have some that it is really high, like $151 for RPM. And then we have some that are super low, like this one is $4.11. But I want to look at monetized playback views. Let me see. Okay, I'm having to go to a different screen here, but I want to show you this, which is so frustrating. So if we look at these two columns here, so Let's look at estimated monetized playbacks and views. So estimated monetized playbacks, that's the only the only views that they're actually paying me for versus the views that are on YouTube. So this video right here, I had 2,600 views on this video in February, but they only paid me for 1,000. 1,080 views is all they paid me for. This video here, Why Follow Dave Ramsey, I only got paid for 504 of those views, but I had 1,700 views. So they cut, that in a third of what I should have been making, which is crazy. Um, this one, Wake Up in Hawaii, nothing was monetized on that one. Um, this one had a redeeming gift card, 600 views and 600 views that they paid me for, and then I had 1,300 views. This one here, 231 views is all they paid me for, and I had over a thousand. So. It is so frustrating. Look at this one. 89 views is all they paid me for, 547. That is crazy, the percentage of how low they're paying me. And so this is why I am just frustrated with YouTube and why I am taking a step back from this channel because YouTube has basically shadow banned this channel. This has been happening for over a year now that they are not paying me for my views. And they're saying that I'm tri driving traffic in ways that I shouldn't and I'm not, like things like clicking on my own ads. I have YouTube Premium. I don't even see my ads. So I'm frustrated, but it is what it is. So that's my main channel. Let's look at my second channel. So my second channel is the, the channel that you're watching now. This is the channel that I am really going heavy on. And this channel consists of different types of topics. So it's talking about the income that I'm making in the business, which is what this video is. I'm talking about things of YouTube, of tutorials like Podia, um, Thrivecart, Teachable, tons of Thrivecart content. But this is also a channel of chasing your dreams. And one of those things for me is travel. So I am including some travel vlogs in this. And so I've done a couple here. I have one on Moon Palace, um, which is a resort in Mexico. Here's one in Excellence El Carmen. I just went to Hawaii in February. So we're doing some Hawaii vlogs as well. This is Pearl Harbor. This is hiking Diamond Head. So I'm doing some travel in it as well because to me, that's chasing your dreams. That To me, that's why I do what I do is so that I can you know, work for myself and travel and do all those fun things. So this is the type of content that is on this channel. Now let's look at analytics really quick. So let's look at for February. And we had a couple spikes here, but this is from a reel that did really, really well. And so this doesn't count towards any watch time or anything like that. I'm still working on getting monetized on this channel for ads. I make money on the channel in affiliates and different things like that and sponsors, but for ads, I don't make money, which 
Fun fact is you can make money on YouTube before you're even monetized. Before A lot of people think that you can't make money on YouTube until you make money through monetization, which is the ads. I've had sponsorships on this channel and it's not even monetized with ads yet. So you can definitely still make money through sponsorships, through affiliates, through your own products, your own services, all of that. So let's look here. And I want to look at the last 365 days. So February, we're still still not monetized yet. But if we look at the last 365 days, according to this, we have 4,000 hours of watch time. And we have the two, the over 1,000 subscribers. I have 2,300 subscribers. So I need 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 365 days to get monetized. But that doesn't include shorts. So it doesn't include reels or shorts or anything like that, those hours. So I'm not quite there yet because of that. If I look at the earn tab and I go down here, I can see that I'm super close. So according to this, I have the, the subscribers, but I don't have the watch time hours. I only have 3,754 hours of watch time. So I'm so close, need 4,000. I'm still tracking it. I have a printable that I track it and I'll have that for you guys for free. In the, if you want to download it as well, so that way you are you're working on towards monetization, you can do it as well. I'll have it linked for you in the blog post. But we are plugging away on monetization for this channel. Okay, so that is the YouTube ad revenue. Next is coaching. I do both budget coaching and I do business coaching. So a couple of clients this month, two hundred seventeen dollars and eighty eight cents. Next is courses. I have two courses. I have Dream It or Profitable, which is my entrepreneurship course. So if you're wanting to start an online business, become a virtual assistant, learn how to sell digital downloads, uh, start a YouTube channel, all of that. This course is like the roadmap for that. This is the exact course that I wish I had when I first started my channel. And I think if I had this as a foundation, I would have grown so much faster. So that's Dream It or Profitable. Then I also have a super simple course on how to save money on groceries. So if you're wanting to learn how to meal prep, to meal plan, all of that, then I have this course here. It's only $19 and it's a, it's a super fun course. So courses, I made $1,670 in courses. Memberships, $157.71. So that is the current membership with my level up. I already have some people in there that are grandfathered in from my previous membership, which was an add on for Dream It or Profitable that you couldn't get in unless you were in Dream It or Profitable. This is, I'm totally revamping it. So it's not only for Dream It or Profitable students, but it's for anyone that wants to level up, that wants to grow their online business, that wants to start an online business, but like really taking it serious, wants the masterminds, wants the community, wants the workshops, the all of that stuff, then that's what that is. So currently members, 157.71. Virtual assistant, $250. I'm a virtual assistant for a uh, local realtor and I do some of her social media. So 250 for that. And then sponsorships I had, I think it was a blog post sponsorship. So that was $100 for a total of $4,197. So my goal is minimum over $8,000 a month to get me to that $100,000 a month. So we're not there, not even halfway there, but it is what it is. And like I said, I think in Q3, Q4, we're definitely gonna see that level up. Okay, let's look at expenses. So I had some education, self-development. I got a book, $100 million leads. That was $25.96. Equipment, no new equipment this month. Uh, marketing, I had um, Dreaming of Profitable. This was an affiliate payout with $17.85. Webinar giveaway, $50. Um, ads for, Et uh, yeah, for Etsy was $171. So total marketing was $69.56. Postage, I had to buy two books of stamps to send out some cards to some students. That was $27.20. Uh, course refund, this is $298.50. I have a 30-day money-back guarantee on my courses. And so if someone doesn't you know, think it's a good fit for them, then I stand by that. And this person said that it wasn't good timing for them. And even though they have lifetime access, but it's totally fine. So we refunded them. Next is due subscriptions, all of that. This is the back end stuff that it takes to run my business. And this has definitely grown over the years. A lot of this is um, website stuff like Cloudflare, um, Apple, Adobe, different things like that. Um, Vimeo, ManyChat, Loom, 
AT&T, Sprint, cell phone, all of that. And then we have some fees as well. So like Teachable, um, Stripe, Etsy fees, PayPal fees, all of that. This was a higher month because some of these were annual. So like the Vimeo was an annual expense. Uh, Backblaze was an annual expense. Um, so it was a little bit higher, but $980.68. Next is food. We did not spend any food this month, so that is awesome. So total of all expenses was $1,401.90. My total revenue for the month was $4,197. Owners pay, so that is what gets transferred to my personal budget, to my personal family, to help pay our mortgage and to put food on the table, all of that was $2,937.90, and that is a 70% 70, 70 cut. Um, 70, 70% pay for that. I am actually going to be hiring. I hired someone this past month, but we're working out with her LLC stuff and whatnot to when we're going to pay her. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there is some back pay that we're going to do in for labor that you'll see for April's budget that it was for March, but it'll just get taken out of April. So there was more expenses with that, but we'll see that in April. Um, so operating expenses, 30% is what I want to reinvest back into my business every month. So that would be marketing, labor costs, um, dues and subscriptions, education, all of that. My goal is to reinvest 30%. So that would be based on the total revenue, $1,259.10. So we are in the red this month, but that is totally fine because I have months where I'm not spending the 30%, and so it just goes into a... Um, an account that I have a reserve, so that is totally fine. Total working hours was 97.16, which gave me an hourly rate of 43.20. Now, my goal is to be making $100 an hour. So based on how much revenue I bring in, $100 an hour is my goal. This month was a crazy month. I worked probably double what I typically do, but I worked with my um, new project manager and we redid a lot of the marketing. We went through all of my email funnels and diff different things like that. So we really invest a lot of time into a lot of things with my free class that I did, all of that. So it was a heavy, heavy, heavy labor month for me. So that's what brought my hourly rate down. If I can look here, let's look at Toggle. I track all of my time in Toggle. And so I can see for last month, Here's the 97 hours and 10 minutes and 14 seconds. And it was crazy. Like there were some days where I worked seven hours. Typically I only worked three to four hours a day, but there were some times where I had to work crazy amounts. This is actually a week that Peyton went to my in-laws house. And so she spent the, the week with my in-laws, um, you know, out of town from us. And so I was able to really get some extra work in, which was, which was helpful. But we can see here that my webinar that I worked on, this was a lot of messaging and emails and different things, but that was 38 hours. Editing was 10 hours. Social media was nine hours. Courses was six hours. Education was four hours. Coaching, four hours. So I love that I can visually see where I'm at and I can see you know, what's taking up the most time. So that is um, the toggle. So my hour spent. Let's take a look at income. So. I'm going to, I like to visually be able to see the year and see where we're at. So let's hide these columns here. So total so far for the year, affiliate marketing, I've made $4,816.06. Digital products, $485. Google AdSense, $703.39 blog ad revenue 5675 I've taken off ads on my website so I'm no longer making any money from ads um, until I reach 10,000 page views a month and then I'm going to switch over ad companies I was with the Zoic and I was not happy with it so we're taking off ads on my website for the next procedural who knows until when um, courses at six thousand one hundred sixty two dollars membership six hundred seven dollars twenty eight cents code Coaching of $487.02, freelance $750, sponsorships $2,100 for a total of $16,168. And total hours worked an average of 76 
hours and an average is $74.20. So we definitely need to up the hourly rate. Like I said, my goal is $100 an hour and we are well be below that, mostly because of this brought down the average. But I love being able to see at the year of what I'm what I'm making and I can see, okay, this month was a lot higher. What do I need to lean into more? Where am I where am I down? Why am I, you know, seeing such a big difference from month to month? What do I need to lean in more? I love just being able to see it as a whole. If I look here, here is let me make this a little bit smaller. So here is what it was in 2023. So I can see here, like I had a $10,000 month, a 13,000, 8,000. So I can see, okay, what was doing really, really well in those months that I can lean into more. And then some of the lower months, okay, where do I need to spend more time and up that income? And as you can see, I did make $103 with my average for the year in 2023. So we need to get back to that for 2024. But I love being able to visually see the whole year and see where I need to adjust my income. So that is my income for the month of March. I would love to hear your thoughts. What are you working on? What do you want to see more on this channel? If you're interested on the total shift that I'm making on YouTube, check out this video here. And if you want to see the invalid bug traffic drama and nonsense where YouTube is not helpful at all, check out this video here.